everyone, we're going to find the first term in common difference of the arithmetic sequence where our 12th term is 4 and our 18th term is 28. Now I already set this up, I'll explain this in a minute. We're also going to uh, find the recursive and explicit formula once we find the first term in common difference. Alright, so I set this up using my explicit formula here. So basically what it's saying is my 12th term is 4 and my 18th term is 28. So this is your n. So if I do um, my nth term of the sequence, so a sub 12, saying sub for subscript, equals, and I copy my formula, your first term. Basically in your first term we let a1 equal a, so we don't have to keep writing 1. So a plus n minus 1 uh, times d, and we're looking for the a and the d. But my n is 12. So 12 minus 1 is 11, and that's where this is coming from. This number will always be 1 less than this number. So that's how I already set this up. And so basically you have a list of numbers where the 12th term is 4 and the 18th term is 28. We want to find the first term in common difference because that's going to help us write the recursive and explicit formula. Now, uh, let's write this out. a plus 11d equals 4, and a plus 17d equals 28. Our system of linear equations, remember arithmetic sequences are linear because of the common difference. Now, uh, we're going to eliminate the a, so a minus a is 0, so that kind of goes away. Uh, 11d minus 17d is negative 6d, 4 minus uh, uh, 28 is going to be negative 24. Divide both sides by 6, you get d equals 4. So we found our common difference, and with as with all other systems, you just plug that back into one of the equations. I'll pay, always use the first one. So a plus 11 and substitute d for 4 equals 4. So a equals 44, not a equals, a plus 44 equals 4. So a, when you subtract 44 from both sides, gives you negative 40. So now we have our first term and we have our common difference. Now we can write our recursive and explicit formula. Your recursive formula is right here. So you're just going to write, and I, let me write this down again. Your, um, let's see, your a was negative 40, and your d was, where is that? d was 4. So we just have to plug in for the recursive formula the d. So a sub m equals a sub n minus 1 plus 4. That's it. Once you have your first term and your common difference, you can write the formulas. And the same thing with our explicit formula, or our nth term, would be a sub n equals, now you have to fill in your a and d. Your a is negative 40 plus n minus 1, and your d is 4. The only thing with this one is you have to simplify so this is going to give you a sub n equals negative 40 plus 4n minus 4. Combine those two and you get a sub n equals negative 44 plus 4n. You want to rearrange um, these, you can. You can write this as a sub n equals 4n minus 44 if you want to. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.